Ho there, Apple Biteys. This is your Apple Bite, Raphael Tavares. Welcome to our show, The Written Writ. This is episode five, The Ralph's Insane. As you can most inequitably, 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 there you go, inequitably. Difficult word there. See. <laughs> well, anyway. Of course, we all know what we're doing here. We use writer's prompts in order to get us writing, get us flowing, get us moving. Sometimes we get stuck. Best thing to do is find a writer's prompt and get to writing. Sometimes jumping out of what we're doing gets us writing. Of course, a writer's prompt is a phrase or a term that we use in order to get us writing. Right. Now, this week, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I started to write. Well, see, first of all, well, no wiggly lines, no flashback. Okay. First of all, I was a young man, and I would pull out all my toys and cause these epic battle fights. It was glorious. I would put all the toys all over the house, and I would create these massive epic storylines on why these people were fighting. And it was fantastical. It was epic. It was a journey. It was Lord of the Rings epic type thing. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it was. My mom wasn't too happy about it, but I was fantastically ecstatic. <laughs> well, as time progressed, I was watching PBS. Of course, yes, PBS. PBS is an interesting television network, and I think everybody should watch it. Ah, yes, I like PBS. Well, I was watching PBS, and I ran into my friend here, Joseph Campbell. Let's see. Uh, no, 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 no. There he goes, Joseph Campbell. So, Joseph Campbell is my man who decided to tell, teach me about mythology. From this point on, I became enraptured with mythology. I loved it. I loved how he explained everything. How all these stories, all these basic stories help us become better people. Help us as people. That um, you have this journey as a hero that you must follow in order to get to where you're going. The hero's journey. You know... And he explained things like the hero has a thousand faces and other things. If you want to check him out, check him out. He's a fabulous writer. And he will explain to you mythology in a way that we can all understand. At least I understood it. And I took it that way. And I ran with it. And I write in that way, in that fashion. And he got me and my imagination flowing and going and figuring things out. Yeah. And that's why I started to write, because of Joseph Campbell and his way of seeing things. Of course, Joseph is inspired by Carl Jung. Carl Jung also broke apart mythology. So if you want to check out Carl Jung, go check him out. I've done my research. You do yours. I can, of course, I can tell you a little bit of thing about here. But come on, go do something. Pull out a couple of books. Use that internet thing that you guys you like to use there. And figure things out. Research. Research is one of the most important things about a writer. We research, we find, we write. Now, that's why I became a writer, because I had this fantastical mind as a child, and then I ran into Joseph Campbell, and Joseph Campbell just exploded things from there. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all about me for now. Now, let's get to our writer's prompt of the week. As you can see, I've gotten a little strange. Well, I'm already strange, as you can tell by my fantastical hat here. <laughs> I like it. Now, why for you hurt me? Why for you hurt me? Yes, and the word of the week is obfuscate. Obfuscate. Yes, I'm being hidden from you. I'm obfuscating. I'm obfuscating the truth sometimes. Yeah, see how? See what I did there? Nice playing words, huh? Well, anyway, so that's, that's the word of the week. Obfuscate. You don't have to use it, 
But if you want to make these more difficult, especially for this phrase, why for you hurt me? Yes. I want to see you guys get alphas get into that one. <laughs> now, if you want to see what I'm doing, here's my place, dranix.tumblr.com. You check it out. You see what I'm doing. You look, you review, you, you let me know what's going on. You share, share your stuff with me. We go back and forth. We have some kind of communicational thing going on. And we help each other become what? Better writers. <laughs> That's the idea of the show here, people. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, by the way. I'm not turning into Darth Vader or Barry White or anything. It's just that I'm not completely at 100% healthy right now. And even though the voice sounds interesting, it's kind of not, I guess. All right. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you like what we're doing here, down there, down there, there, over there, down there, down there somewhere, you got this really little cute box, it goes subscribe, it's all sexy and it wants you to touch it, yeah, it does, definitely, you touch it and it gets happy, right, so, once you get us 100 subscribers, what's going to happen is, we are going to do a music video, in this music video, we will do something that you choose, you'll have two options, one of the options up there is going to be, Kung Fu fighting. This is gonna get interesting, especially if we are Kung Fu fighting. Mm. Catch my drift? Yeah. Oh, oh, anyway. So, press the button. Get us the numbers. We get to 100. We do a music video. You get a couple of options. You decide what we're doing. And for every 100 subscribers, we will do another music video. Get it? Yeah, there's a trend there. Something's happening. Ooh, it's all sexy. And it all begins with touching that little red box down there. The little red box. Touch it. You know you want to. <laughs> R. 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 <clears throat> this is your insane or inequitably. Ah, yes, yes, I didn't. Oh, no, no stutter. Inequivocally insane. Apple Bite, Ra Raphael Tavares, I'm talking to you. And this is us signing off from the written writ.